Alrighty, what we've done is uh, I've had a friend of mine hold the nose cone in place and we've got it even all the way around. And I've gone ahead and I've put some, some green painter's tape along the edge here. Then I mark an edge uh, half an inch in and I'm going to be putting nut plates in here that will fasten into this support piece, this plate that's riveted to the airframe. That way I can take my nose cone on and off. So what I'm doing right now is I'm, I've marked out spaces that I'm going to be drilling my pilot holes down through here. There's 10 on this side and 10 on the other side. And that will be holding the nose cone on in the front and we'll do some underneath on the bottom as well. But for right now I'm just going to go ahead and I've already marked my edge distance. I took a, a spacer and I marked the spaces out for my center holes. I'll go ahead and drill the holes and, and Clico this uh, nose cone into place. Now you go ahead and drill through the nose cone and through the support plate because that's going to be the hole that the nut which will eventually fasten into the nut plate will go into. Now at this time I'm only doing every other hole which will give me five nut plates down here. If you choose to have more, you could do it with 10, but I've set it up, I'm going to do 5, and the reason being is I don't really need 10 nut plates throughout the entire airframe to hold this nose cone. Up. Now this one that I just drilled is right at the point of where the launcher on meets the fuselage. My nut plate will go behind there. And I should explain that. This, this piece of metal attached to the airframe is flexible. So we're going to be pulling this metal bracket up to the nose cone as opposed to pulling the nose cone down to the metal. A little bit of both, but more of it's going to be pulling this away. And I will be putting a piece of rubber spacer behind the lingeron where that nut plate's going in so I don't have vibration between the airframe and the nut plate. And um, there will be a piece of rubber U-channel along the edge here on my final installation after I get this all drilled and get it uh, uh, painted and everything. <clears throat> the final installation will be a, a piece of rubber U-channel to act as a barrier so I don't have a direct uh, contact between the carbon fiber of the nose cone and the aluminum of, of the support plate. One last drill here. 